Hello again. Today I got quite the obscure character from Bleach, and I wonder if any casual fan would recognize this person, let alone know her name. And that is Saito Furofushi, one of the original members of the Gote 13. And I believe she was the captain of the 6th division, which is currently led by Byakuya. This was made by Chocobo Studio, the same one that made the Bankai Rukia, which I am a fan of. I'm immediately greeted with a card after opening the box, which has a nice art of Saito herself. Also, I apologize if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. I'm honestly surprised a studio managed to make one of the original Gote 13. I think the pre-order even started a few weeks after her first appearance in episode 7 of the new Bleach anime. And I'm glad it was Saito because she's one of my favorite ones in terms of design alone out of the 13 former captains. Also the box itself has the statue's sizes, which is pretty cool, not all boxes have this. The statue itself costed me 149 USD, a pretty decent price if you ask me. And the shipping was 49 USD. Not bad, not bad. Here we got the first piece, her right arm that holds the sword. The fingernails also have a slight pink coloring, which isn't too noticeable. I'm kind of glad because I'm not the biggest of fan when the fingernails are painted. Now for the left hand, as it rests on her hip. I actually really liked how it turned out. Kinda looks like she wants to arm wrestle. Also, I gotta mention, the details on the hand is really well done. As you can see the creases on the palm, and it's a shame you can't really see it once it's attached to the body. This is her tied headband. And time for the Zanpakuto. Really love how it came out. Love the purple coloring of the handle, and the guard is a six pointed star. Kinda reminds me of Toshiro's guard. The statue came in with a silver coin, showing off Saito on one side and the division's logo on the other side. 3 out of 88, not bad. Almost got number one. And it comes with a plastic handle to put the coin in. And now for the base, which has a pretty simple shape and doesn't take up too much space. Love that it has the six divisions mark. The back has a classic bleach logo. Again, 3 out of 88. Next, the main body itself, which was kind of difficult to take out. Sometimes a statue is too well packaged, and I struggle to take out some pieces without fearing of breaking something. The pose is also simple, but it makes it easy to show off the entire body. Liked how it turned out. Also love the red coloring inside the coat. And last but not least, the headpiece, which I'm genuinely surprised the hair didn't came in broken. This is the type of shape I expect that could easily snap off. I'm so glad it didn't. Really like the face expression. The eye patch is cool for a design. The details and the color for the hair is spot on. And the tongue sticking out is a nice touch. It kind of shows off her personality despite knowing nothing about her. Here are all the pieces that came in. First, gotta put the main body in the base. Next, to put in the arms, which is easily attached with magnets. And now for the head, with one of her pigtails resting on her shoulders. And for the sword, I had to take out the arm and the head because the blade goes in between the shoulder and one of her twin tails. And 
And finally, the tight part of her headband that goes behind her head. Which I had to use this green thing that usually comes in with Reason statues to make sure it stays on. The statue is roughly 11 inches in height with the base. And now for a quick display of the statue. Really liked how it came out and the pose looks nice. Many people have pointed out how Saito has a striking resemblance to Riruka and Lolly, the Arankar. It's far-fetched, but there could be something relating Saito to either of these two since reincarnation is a thing in Bleach. Or Kubo really likes the twin tails design, and uh, who doesn't? It makes Saito look cute and badass at the same time. Also, uh, people with high enough spiritual pressure eventually go to hell anyway, so she isn't reincarnating anytime soon, unfortunately. I know the original Gotei 13 were supposedly dangerous killers, and the fact that Saito has her tongue out kind of reminds me of Zoraki and Grimjow. So she probably likes to fight and wondered if her fighting style would revolve around melee combat almost like Ichigo or would she use long range based attacks. I do hope that Bleach Brave Souls would make units for the former captains in the game. Even if their gameplay would be plain since we literally don't know anything about the original Gote, But it would be cool to play as them. That's pretty much it for the statue, don't have much to add or say since not much is known about these characters, but it's impressive that Kubo made these characters out of nowhere and cool to see them in the anime, even if it was brief. I would love to learn more about the original Gotei 13 and even see what else Kubo will make, still patiently waiting for the Hell Arc to continue or new content for Burn the Witch. And with that, that'll be the end for this one. Really love the statue, and Chocobo nailed it with this one. I really wish more Thousand Year Blood War characters would come out with statues or figures. I need more bleach in my life, but enough of that. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.